Hello everybody, welcome back to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the Brick Kill holiday event for 2022, as well as the New Year's event that they did as well. So let's start. And it has been a while since my last video. I did decide to take a break from social media for a bit, so I didn't actually upload it. And the last time I uploaded it was very early on at December event. The event page wasn't even up, but now it's towards the end of that event. So I'll just be going over the things very briefly, since most people already probably know what's happened and they've already got everything. But just really quickly, I'll go over what happened here and take a look at the event page as well. So last we stopped over here on the Red Nose Reindeer. They had some item updates, and we actually got quite a lot more in terms of items right over here. And most of these were actually a part of this item advent calendar right over here. So right over here, we stopped at the Nose Reindeer, and they actually had quite a few more things here. So for Rose and Krampus Horns weren't special. That's a pretty cool one. I think they were an event item from last year, so if you're able to get them, that was a pretty nice decision. And now you actually could make a little profit on them now. Christmas Tree Spiral, also from last year, this was also a free item. So if you got this one, it's not going to be as big as a profit as the horns, but I think it's still a nice choice and a still a nice profit if you did get this one free and in terms of new specials we did get this frosty day at the dead hat right over here which is kind of this icy version of the other day the dead hat they did release a couple years back so pretty cool choice it's doing pretty well right now it has around 200 owners so if you got this one originally this is definitely gonna be a pretty good profit for you the next new special this one i think was on christmas day or around that time it was the break buddy and we haven't got one of these buddies in a while so it's pretty cool to see them do another one and most of the time these are special anyways so this makes sense it's doing really well right now so if you got it for original price that was a pretty big profit for you and the last new special which was for new year's we did get these 23 fireworks which makes sense they typically do these fireworks every year and they all end up special whether they release like that or they go special eventually but these are pretty cool one they are these kind of like 8-bit versions so pretty nice one right there in terms of event items we do have a couple of event i think right over here they can actually get in the game i'm not sure if you can get them still but just in case you just have to find different breaks around the map and touch them in order to actually get these so just exploring the map should be able to get you these four items right over here then we got a couple of presents right over here. Most of these, I think, are not obtainable anymore, but they had some pretty cool objectives. This one had a pretty fun one where you had to click four different items. This one, you had to find four ornaments on the screen and just keep refreshing until they appeared. Kind of similar to a lot of the other presents that we've gotten in the last few years from Break Hills, so kind of a traditional one. And this one, you just had to wear certain items on your avatar, so that was pretty cool. These stockings were available for free for a limited time, and they actually opened up over here to the Holly Lollipop and the Candy Cane Fedora, so definitely pretty nice free items if you're able to get them while they were available. Next, this cup of hot cocoa was a promo code not sure if it's available still but if you went to the promo code page and redeemed the code you were able to get this one these two gingerbread items these were limited time only for i think five days if you purchased 20 dollars or more you would get these and i think they got around 40 owners yeah 40 so definitely if you got them those are actually pretty rare so not that bad next they released a couple of items that actually went off sale and also added some timers to older items that might have not had any so we see a couple of these actually went off sale none of these are actually pretty rare i think this is the only rare one the snowflake kind of funny and that's only because it was very expensive when it released so most of these went off sale quite a couple of Santa hats and we do have some New Year's things as well These two were free and this one was for reading the new blog post that they did for New Year's So definitely pretty cool one next they released the Brick Hill free blue cap They have a cap that's free I think every year so this makes sense definitely pretty cool one It's still gonna be available next we have this giant magnifying like fine glass Which is the donation item for the next few months They typically have an item where you buy $20 or more within a three month time span You would get an item and this is the item for these next months So definitely pretty cool one right there they released a world cup item which is pretty fun. I think that it's nice to do items based on different events. So it definitely looks pretty cool. A pretty creative take on the cup item. So not bad. And then we have some other random things which released and updated and they're still on sale. So if you didn't get them already, you can still get those. And this decorated present, which was just free on the shop. You just had to buy it. So yeah, those were the items that happened right over here. Definitely quite a lot. Definitely some nice things. We also have this one, which was available for free for a week. I didn't open it yet. And I don't think any of the other presents other than the stockings opened yet. So we'll see what happens with these. But definitely some pretty cool just right over here. So that was the calendar right over there then on the new year's thing you can see the items that they have here they have the shades they have the special and then they had this cap right over here there's also the blog post on the top if you didn't read it yet so you can click that and if you read that you will get this pin right over there then we have this room which was meant as this kind of a or g room i don't think they had time for it so it might get pushed back to easter but still it looks like a nice little room right over there and this is what the present would have looked like then on this house right over there they have these five characters in the aftermath i would say and they each had their own little thing that you could unlock for doing some little mission. So right over here, Muffs had these three. Two of them were on site, one was in game. Dr. Moda had their own present. Sergeant Frostbite, which is a new character, had their own present. Toby, which would have been the ARG present, I think is getting pushed back a bit. And then General Gingerbread had his two items for purchasing over $20 and also the little free presents. And then the last house right over here is the Snowman Building Contest. This one actually you can still enter until January 7th, so you have three days, which isn't that much time, but it's still enough time to submit something that could actually give you a win. So keep that in mind, if you do want to submit something, you have until January 
time. So yeah, those were the things that happened for the winter event and also New Year's. Definitely seems like a pretty good mix of things that happen here, and I'm definitely excited to see what else they do. They did acknowledge a lot in their blog post, and they did give hints to what may be coming soon. So just quickly skimming over, they give some shoutouts to top developers and top asset creators as well, so definitely some pretty nice ones. They went over some items, some events. They did mention some things that they want to introduce in this next year, which is item versions, item series, item tags. And we do see that a bit of a here series versions and wishlist. These are here as a little icon. You can't actually do anything with them though, so that is what they hope to introduce this year. A trading update, emotes, outfits, bundles, the designer program, and recommended items. And they also have a checklist over here. Celebrate the New Year's. They did that. Release a trading update. Release parts of the social update. Reach 1,100,000 users, which I think they probably will reach that by at least the end of this year. Have a set reach 10,000 unique users. That could be pretty interesting. Or the aftermath, possibly. Spotlight series, so that will possibly see a return this year. Host at least one stream, which is a possibility as winter has ended, so they could do one there and complete the new client scripting. So definitely some cool updates to look forward to in this new year. So this is just a bit of a recap to see what happened over the month that was gone and just so people that maybe join later on in the future know what happened during this event. But yeah, that is my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!